Hello everyone, I'm Jester and welcome back to another episode of the Daryl Brooks Saga. First of all, I want to say thank you. We just passed 700 subscribers and that's awesome. I want to I want to thank you all. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll, I I'm, I made these videos for a month and I'm going to continue to make them until we finish the trial and then we're going to move on to another one. So it's going to be a lot of content coming up in the coming well, months. <laughs> so subscribe if you want. Also, if you, someone told me in the comments that I should tell you guys to like the video. So if you like these kind of videos, give it a like. It will help me out a lot with the algorithm and, and stuff. So now let's get right into the video. I, I talked too much already. Well, thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, sir. You may step down. Why are you laughing? What is funny? Sir, how are you employed? The city of uh, Wauwatosa well, Police Department. What county is that in? It's in Milwaukee. Not Waukesha. Correct. Do you recall where you were on the afternoon of November 21st, 2021? Yes, I was at the Waukesha Christmas Parade. In downtown Waukesha? Yes. What were you doing there? I was uh, attending the parade uh, with my family. My daughters were walking in the parade with their dance team. Nice. Were you on duty? No. We walked back to the, high, the middle school parking lot where my wife had parked. My um, youngest daughter left with her, and then my older daughter and I continued to walk toward my vehicle. What happened as you were walking towards your vehicle? On the east side of the sidewalk, I uh, saw an SUV driving behind the houses on the west side of Maple, and uh, I just assumed it was driving in an alley or a, a driveway. Um, as I lost visual of the SUV, it was driving behind houses, I heard a crash. The vehicle then emerged a little bit further south from behind one of the residences there and drove down the driveway of that residence toward the street, toward my daughter and I. Um, and then what happened? I saw that the uh, front end of the SUV was severely damaged and uh, put two and two together, thought the damage was from the crash I had just heard. I was standing across the street from it and then it came to a stop. Um, I saw the, the driver of the vehicle exit the vehicle. Uh, he came around to the front of the vehicle, looked at it, and yelled, fuck. Oh, whoa, mouths. Uh, Words. This is panicked, a, this back, a safe got channel. Items out of the driver's side of the vehicle and then ran southbound. The vehicle that you're talking about, do you remember what color it was? Uh, it was a maroon Ford Escape. You already said it was across the street. Do you remember? Okay, I, I just want to jump in and say that this is a really a key witness for the for the whole trial because this is the guy that saw actually saw him get down from the car and run. I said we are we're at that point on the on the on the case that we already see him get down from the car and start running like a chicken, like Susan Upper would say. So. Keep an eye, keep an eye on what he asked this witness. Approximately how many feet it would have been between you Oh and God, no. Yeah, I knew it. You may answer. <laughs> Never ask an estimate of distance to Daryl Brooks because he's going to be like, are you sure? Well, not you're not sure, right? Uh, if I had to guess, maybe 50 feet at most. Could you just... Can you describe the lighting? Look, look at his face. At that he's time already in terms of he's already thinking. Oh, I'm gonna destroy him in, uh, with this. How, how can he tell there's 15 feet, 15 feet of distance? Sunlight and street lamps, <laughs> if there were any. Objection. Yeah, it was, was uh, overruled. You may answer. It was pre-dusk. I would describe it as. How would you describe the uh, the physical appearance of the driver? Uh, well, he just looked to be kind of in a panic. Obviously, I just. I thought he was involved in a crash, and uh, he was wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt and blue jeans. What about race? I would take him. Speculative. Um, Speculative. Um, world, he may answer. I would have described him as a light-skinned African American or possibly Hispanic. Hey, Hispanic. And you've seen photographs of Dale, Daryl Brooks in in other contexts. Is that correct? Objection. Yes. I do not consent to being called that name, nor do I know that individual and his. Go ahead, you may answer the question. Speculative. It's not speculative. Not. Clearly. Yes. 
the person you saw get out of the driver's seat of that SUV on November 21st, do you see that person in the courtroom today? It's yes. Objection is hearsay, huh? He's speaking as a uh, first I hand witness. First I hand witnessed? Is that a thing in English? I think there's first hand eyewitness, but I, I don't know if there's eye hand witness. What? Overruled. I believe he answered, but could you state it again? Yes, I see him. He's sitting at the defense table wearing a suit with a blue tie and a white surgical mask. And just to be It's not white, it's uh, just bad words. Please have Mr. Brooks I think. remove his mask for a moment. Please, Mr. Brooks, please remove your mask. Oh no, it's all white. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I don't know if it's backwards or not. How confident are you in your identification today? 100%. 100%. Is your identification in court today colored in any way by seeing pictures of Mr. Brooks uh, in other contexts? Objection speculative. Um, overruled, he may answer. No. Can you describe the difference, if any, between Mr. Brooks's appearance today and his appearance on November 21st? Objection hearsay. Um, it's it's neither one of those things. The objection is. He saw rule. you. Witness How is that objection? You're saying it's relevant. It's it relevant. He saw you. Not if he identified me already. So he said. Mr. Brooks, please. The objection's been overruled. <coughs> How is that means. not relevant? He's got very short hair right now, and he didn't then. Allegedly. <coughs> it looked like on November 21st. By, by the comments that you guys posted in last last episode, he had the same length of hair that he has now. Just no fake hair. Overruled, you may answer. Relevancy. Go ahead, you may answer, sir. And longer hair. I'm going to ask that we put up for the witness only exhibit number 65, please. Go ahead. Do you recognize that video? Yes. What does it show? Uh, it shows me walking with my dog Elvis and walking Elvis. with my oldest daughter Ava. Is that an accurate depiction of that scene as you saw it today? Yes. Overruled. Yeah. Move, move exhibit. Yes. Thank you. Move exhibit 65 into evidence and ask to publish. Exhibit 65 has received permission to publish as granted. Objection. Relevant. It's relevant. It's what happened. It's the video of what happened. Overruled. Could you circle yourself for us? Thank you. We can clear that. I wonder Pause what there. kind of dog is it. Can you draw a line down Prospect for us? Do you see any vehicles on Prospect at this point? I see two. Could you uh, circle the yes. one it's with... Clearly more than two vehicles. On prospect. I'll, clear, I'll clarify. No, yeah. you said on prospect. Yeah. He answered. His answer might stand. <coughs> where's Where's prospect? Where's he doesn't where's even know where prospect is, and he's objecting. The witness would redraw the line for Mr. Brooks. What? Thank you. There you go. Go ahead. Do either of those vehicles have appearing to you today to have an inoperable headlight? Yes. Which one? If you can circle it, please. It's, it's leading. It's not leading. He may answer. Thank you. We can clear that. Oh, there he goes. Pause. And there he's running. Do you see on the video right <laughs> now the person you recall being the driver of that vehicle? Yes. Could you please circle that person for us? There is Mr. To Mark Brooks. And preserve this annotation as exhibit 65A, please, and move it into evidence. Objection. Hearsay. It's not hearsay. He the was looking at him. Overruled exhibit 65A. With his eyeballs. What did you do next? I attempted to call 911 to report a crash. Did you get through on the first call? <coughs> no. What about the second? No. Third? No. Did you eventually get through? Four and objection nine. hearsay. I'm sorry, I didn't um, hear the answer. Um, the objection is overruled. Could you please restate your answer, sir? I believe I got through on the fourth attempt. 
And that's when you reported. Yeah, there were so many calls to 911 that he couldn't get through. Right? That's understandable. So, yes. Um, can we pull that? Uh, okay, here we go. Back up again. Would it be fair to say that from the position that you're in, approximately here? But he's right there. You can. We can see and him. The side street being here. Right. You can see. down this street from the position you're in uh my guy that's not how eyeballs work like when you see when you want to look this way you don't look first this way and then that way you're not using the crosswalk you look from this uh, you can you cannot see my mouse like you don't do you don't your eyes don't go first here and then here to watch you go from a straight line from here to here so yeah you can see that what no. So how were you able to see if a vehicle would be coming from this way from the position you're at? Draw a straight line. I didn't see the vehicle driving on prospect. I saw it driving behind the houses and through the yards. All right, fair enough. So you were able to see the vehicle behind houses? Between houses, behind You said houses. behind. You said behind. Yeah. Right, through the yards behind the houses. There are spaces you between the houses. Where you were. Yes. Can we take those marked lines and step down? Please. Can you play it a little bit? I'll tell you when to pause. Would it be fair to say from... Do you want to pause? Oh, no, not yet. Just You, you can let it play. I'll, I'll say I think it's 36 seconds, so... Would it be fair to say from... You have to stop well, the video. The video showing, so wait till it's done playing and then ask a question. Or have us pause where you want it to pause. Pause. So it's pause that 18 seconds for the record. Would it be fair to say that in the 18 seconds shown to this point, you're pretty much just walking the dog, moving around, just walking normal. You, you don't make any sudden moves to the left to look or you don't stop in your tracks or anything. You're just walking along. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Sure. Why didn't you immediately stop and stopping your tracks and say you just heard something why do you just keep moving as if you heard anything nothing i just turned my head to see if i could see anything and i didn't see anything and so you just kept moving correct yeah. so what basically you... it was just like oh do 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 walking the dog did yes. he just say did he really just say do 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 my guy who are you how old are you Why so nonchalant? Because he didn't see anything. When the vehicle emerged from the back of the house, I saw that it was damaged, and then in my mind, I knew what I had heard. With all respect, that wasn't the question. Why so nonchalant at that point? I didn't think it was uh, anything of great emergency at that point. I just figured that an intoxicated driver may have just struck another vehicle in the back of that alley, and now he was going to take off and run. Yeah. And being a uh, being in law enforcement, why would you not investigate that if you heard something crash? Why, being being an officer of the law, why would you not investigate that if you heard that? Because he was on his day off, and I would in no way put her in harm's way. Right. Well, I I would think it would be fair to say that you can handle yourself. You. You're obviously a law, uh, 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 officer of the law. You're trained to be able to handle yourself. Would it be fair to say that you could have invested, at least investigated the sound that you heard, the sound like a crash, at least? Okay. No, I, I truly don't follow his logic here. He's saying that because he's a cop, he must, he needs to be a cop 24-7. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this guy was in his day off. He was on a parade with his daughters. He didn't have his gun. He didn't have his uniform. So if someone came out with a gun from that car, what, what was he going to do? Grounds. Sustained. It's also a compound question. Please rephrase. So all these thoughts, maybe it was just a drunk driver and they're going to they're gonna run anyway. And all these thoughts. And that never piqued your interest to investigate? Sometimes being a good witness is the best thing to do. 
That's why I called 911 to report it immediately. Good man. Now, that, that's fair, but yeah, being an officer of the law, you're right there. So, again, objection. not a question. Also asked and answered, also argumentative. S sustained as to the form of the question. What, you don't need to answer, sir. Next question, please. What if someone may have been hurt at that point? You don't think you would have an obligation to investigate if some, someone may have been injured at that point? That's why I called 911. In the entire video, is it fair to say that you did not reach for a phone and take out a phone from your pockets or anything in any way? That I can't. Fair to say? I can't. I I can't tell if I did from the video itself. I know. So when I did you make the call? At some point after you started running. Who is you? Who is you? The defendant, the driver of the vehicle. So there you go. How? How long after you saw the driver of the vehicle did you make the 911 call? Within seconds, I believe. Is it fair to say that we don't see that on the video? Ah, I really hate this. He did this the, the other time with the, with the other detective. He's like, you, you do not see it in this exhibit at this point, at this time, right? So they didn't happen. But it's just because the camera doesn't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen. The video is very small at that point. It's hard to... Is it fair to say Thank we you. don't see you do that on the video? Yes. Can we pull the video back up? All right, you got him to say that. Now what? Can you take it to 27 seconds and pause? Uh, can you, maybe maybe 28. I'm, I may be mistaken. Maybe just go one more second. Maybe to 28. Or you know what? No. Keep your pause right there. Sorry. What do you see right there? You, Errol Brooks, not, the defendant. I don't understand. Do you see anything right there? I see a circle. An individual, uh, anything? Do you see anything right there? It's Inside hard to the tell circle? from that picture what I can see. Can you move it? Can we blow it up a little bit or move it closer? Just a little bit? I don't know that it can be zoomed in. Does that can state it, can have that capability? In? So we can zoom in. As long as the defendant's okay with dispensing with any technological foundation issues there, but we can zoom in. We have the ability to do that. Do you, would, would you like it zoomed in? What, what do you mean by not say that again? I'm sorry. We can zoom in if you want to. Can you zoom in just a little bit? Just, just a smidge. Can you see anything there? You circle it, my guy. It looks like something white. I don't know if that's the driver. It looks like something white. Yes. At that point, it's yes. Light colored. White color what? It's light colored. Light colored, but you did say white. Is that fair to say that you just said white? I just did say white. Would, would I just circle right there? Would you, from your recollection, say that that was the driver you saw? I don't know what that is at this point. You don't, it's you just don't know? It's a paused video. It could be a glare. It could be a person. I don't know. It. You could play it again. Well, let's play it again. Did, stop right there. Did you see that whatever you said you didn't know what it was? Could it have been a person? Could it have been something else? Did you see it move from the position that it was before? Yes. And you also identified that that was white, right? I did say that. It looked white. And would it be fair to say that you saw the driver in gray? Would that be fair to say? Yes. Similar colors. What? Take the circle off. Please. You see, also stated that this is uh, I just want to say this is the clerk of course that does the clearing of the screen it's not the it's not the state so every time he just says that it irritates me because you just have to say please it's not hard it's one word and he loves about to talk. 50 feet from the ve well you added the vehicle in too you said maybe 50 feet and then depending on the length of the vehicle. I knew it. Say. I knew she was yes. going to say that. From where, from where you are here, that would be 50 feet from, approximately 50 feet from X to X. Approximately. And you were able to see the driver and a description from where, you, from where you're standing now to where the other X is. 
Yeah. Yes. It's just you across the street. Make out the race of the driver from where you were at. I guessed. Yes. I raced. So you're not. You're not for sh- for certain. I wasn't for certain. For certain. <laughs> for at certain. That time. So what conclusion were you coming to at that point? Just an educated guess, or what? can you explain further? How, how what? Would it be fair to say that your guess could have been inaccurate? Could have been. And you may reference to the driver's hair. Would that be fair to say? In my testimony, yes. You you brought up the hair is what I'm saying. You, you said long hair. Would that yeah. be fair to say? Yes. And you will be able to see hair if you describe the driver wearing a hoodie? If it's hanging out of the hoodie, yes. Well, you didn't You didn't say, all fairness, you didn't say it was hanging out of the hoodie. You just referred to the hair. Yes. Is it? Hold on. There's been an objection. I believe the witness understood the question, so I'll overrule the objection. His answer may stand. Next question. Is it any possible way you could have gotten a description from the news reports instead of what you actually recall? He said no. no. And how did you determine that? In the report I gave, in my uh, statement, I described what I saw that day, not what I saw in the news. And you also described two different colors of dress. Once, once you said gray and one you said white. Would that be fair to say? I said that the item in the video appeared to be white. Did you not say that the item moved? As you say item, did you not say the item moved from where it was at? Yes. Would it be fair to say that there can be no movement to an item if it wasn't a, a, a person? No. I disagree with that statement. Could be an animal. Could be a a bag of trash, a white bag of trash, which kind of is. Uh, blow it through the wind. Yes. A person that you described wearing white. On the video screen, it appeared white. It appeared light colored or white. Would it be fair to say that you said white? That was your first? Yes. At any time in that video, could you see hair? In the video? In the video. You can't see very much in the video. No. After making the 911 call, did you return back to the scene where you noticed the vehicle? I believe they asked me what the license plate was, and I couldn't see it from where I was at, so I walked back over to give that to them. So you, you couldn't see the uh, the license plate of the vehicle from where you where you were at? There was no license plate on the front of the vehicle, so I could not see it. So you came back to investigate if there was a license plate that you can identify? Yes. Did you yeah. investigate which you may have heard the vehicle strike? No. Any reason why not? They just asked for By the license. At that time, a large crowd had gathered and there were sirens. I could hear them in the distance and the police were, were responding rather quickly. So you didn't take the opportunity to see if anyone, from, the, from saying that you heard a loud crash, you didn't take the opportunity to investigate if anyone may, may have been hurt no, that loud crash? I didn't know. Any reason why not? No reason. At any time, have you read or saw a complaint in this matter? No, just my report. Any other officers that came to the scene? Because you made reference to officers were, was responding by the time you came back to give more details to the dispatcher, more officers were arriving. Uh, do you recall if any any one of those officers investigated the loud crash you heard? I'm unaware. Yeah. Do you recall any of them asking you a, a, a description of what you saw? I didn't speak to any officers on scene that day. Any reason why not? I just seeing, left. Seeing this how, seeing this how that let him answer. The initial 911 call. I'm sure the officers were probably 
responding by that time anyway, but seeing as how you made the 911 call, you didn't collaborate with the other officers to try to, you know, like piece together what you may have saw? I'll object to the characterization that that was the first 911 call. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't say first, I said he made the initial 911 call. Initial means first. Yeah. So sustain this to this one other question. <laughs> initial means first. Did you learn any additional information uh, that you don't recall having via social media or the news after you had already made your report? I don't understand the question. Yeah, me neither. Did you learn any additional information after you had already given your report? Learn information about what? About uh, the description of the driver, what had happened, at the parade any anything well originally i had no idea what had happened at the parade i thought it was just i witnessed a hit and run crash i had no clue what had happened at the parade so you you, you just said now you witnessed a hit and run crash he thought no he also saw. said that you didn't investigate the crash that you heard correct so how would you characterize characterize it as a hit and run crash if you never investigate what you heard well because i heard a crash and then the driver ran <laughs> well you also stated <laughs> that's a great answer like i you how what would you characterize that as, as a hit and run well because i i hear something get hit and then someone run that's that's an awesome answer i love that to be fair that you didn't investigate well, the crash so how was it any way to know what you were witnessing if you didn't investigate it. Because I heard a crash and I saw the driver run. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that the, from the assumption that there was a hit and run crash, as you say, the only way to know for sure where the crash came from would, would be to investigate it. Would that be fair to say? Yes. And you stated for the record that you did not do that, correct? Yes. So and why would you report it as a hit and run crash if you were not sure what it was? Because that's what he thought. Well, based on my training experience as a crash investigator, that's what I thought it was. He's a crash investigator. Again, again, another, another strike of Darrell Brooks trying to discredit an expert on his field. He's, he just, He's, he's zero out of four, I think, by, by this point. <laughs> so as far as you can recall, you were the only one that heard the crash. As far as I know, yes. You testified that you didn't investigate the sound of this crash, correct? Yes. Were you off duty that day? Yes. When you're off duty, do you carry a police radio with you? Objection. That is uh, irrelevant. The officer of the law. What do you mean he's irrelevant because he's an officer of the law? He, they have day offs, you know? They don't have to arrest people on their day off. Overruled. He may answer. No. So you, if you did get into a pickle, you wouldn't be able to call for backup, would you? Objection. The speculative still has a cell phone. How is that, how is that a speculative? He may answer the question. Correct. Uh, your daughter, the one that we saw on Exhibit 65, I believe. 65? 65. Um, is she a sworn law enforcement officer? Objection. Irrelevant. Overruled. You may answer. No. At the time you heard the crash but didn't investigate it, did you know that the vehicle that you saw had been involved in hitting dozens of people on Main Street minutes Object earlier? Objection. Uh, Acts during cross. Answer. Overruled. He may yeah. answer. It's rhetoric. He can ask I again. Have no idea. When the driver got out, and just to clarify again, who was the driver? The defendant. Daryl Brooks? Daryl Brooks. Objection, I don't consent to being called that name. And Mr. Brooks, I'm sorry. I don't consent to being called that name. He did it on purpose. I love it. Um, on this issue of the white clothing, can we please show for everybody uh, exhibit number 120, which has previously been published? Go ahead. You there see the person is. 
who appears to be behind the driver's wheel of the red SUV in that picture. Objection. What is the relevancy? Overruled. He may answer. Yes. How would you describe the color of the shirt that that person's wearing? Light gray or white? There you go. All right. I am <laughs> going to excuse the jurors for a and actually take a recess. All rise for the jury, please. Hey, he's listening again. All right, we are in recess. All righty. That's going to be it for today. It was a little bit shorter, but it was a really good witness, I think. He, he really put uh, Mr. Brooks to work. All right, so that will be it for this episode for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Oh, wait a minute. We have a special last uh, guest here. Since now I'm home. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Look, it's Rory. Rory's back. I know that she is the real reason why you guys watch this episode, so maybe she can come into the camera. You guys just say that you like the videos to be nice. But look, it's Rory. He's here again. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Give it a like if you made it this far. Bye-bye.